हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल माई सेल्फ श्रीजा चक्रवर्ती द वॉलेंटियर ऑफ अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ फॉरेंसिक साइंस कंटेंट वी हैव डेफिनेशन ऑफ फॉरेंसिक साइंस हिस्ट्री बेस्ड ऑन द टाइम इंडियन हिस्ट्री नेम ऑफ द साइंटिस्ट कंक्लूशन एंड रेफरेंस so let's discuss what is forensic science basically so forensic science is a kind of applied science which normally deals with individualization identification and recognition of physical evidences for criminal justice system so it basically includes dna blood hair this all this comes under evidences under biological evidences mainly physical evidence consists of firearms fingerprints documents then digital evidences are also there nowadays that is computers electronic devices mobiles and all this are important for reconstruction of crime scenes and forensic scientists very actively and closely work with the law enforcement agencies to ensure that the integrity of the evidences are maintained properly for the trial and justice of the victim forensic science basically have a great indian history background uh, in india also and in abroad also so there are many divisions of history in which forensic science is divided there comes ancient forensics which lies between 2000 bce till 1st century ce which can also be known as the earliest uh, forensic science uh used in ancient china where medical examiners used autopsies to determine the cause of death then slowly comes the medieval europe period uh which is uh, during this period basically forensic was uh, relatively rudimentary by trial by ordeal and other superstitious methods used to determine the guilt or the innocence and as a note we can say that the first recorded use of medical knowledge in a criminal investigation has been took place in 13th century when a chinese coroner named song si wrote the washing away of wrongs which outlined the methods for conducting autopsies and investigating deaths indian history of forensic science could be said that it was spread in many parts of the world and in ancient india we could say that texts such as of arthashastra written by kautilya or also known as chanakya and the manusmriti contain the reference of various methods of evidence analysis and gathering and investigation of forensic science then in 20th century also the cfsl kolkata that is the central forensic line science lab kolkata has been established in 1950 and now it's the pioneer institution in the field of forensic science in india and at last we can also say that in the mughal period also forensic had a lot of uh, effect that during the mughal period emperor akbar established the system uh, which is known as dastak for the safe passage that also involved the uh, the essence of a token or document discuss some few aspects of forensic science during medieval period it basically consists of witness testimony expert witness torture forensic alchemy forensic entomology and also trial by ordeal so as of our knowledge nowadays expert witness come under section 45 iea means section 45 indian evidence act give the permission to each forensic expert or scientist to give a expert eye or expert witness in the court of law during the trials in the 19th century when sir william herschel the british officer in india initiated the practice of using fingerprints for the identification of personals and it's a very common scientist we all know matthew orfila a spanish born chemist who can be said as the father of modern toxicology he published influential works on poisons and also about their effects the case of francisca rojas played a crucial role in advancing the use of fingerprint evidence 
So now comes the modern era that is the last of 20th century and till now it's continuing. So basically in modern era we can say that forensic science is evolving nowadays with advanced technologies including digital forensic, digital fingerprint evidence analysis, uh, including pathology forensic, anthropology forensic and even entomology forensic. Forensic odontology has also been developed and it's a kind of multidisciplinary field which basically uses all the kind of scientific techniques and its evaluations and principles for investigation and solving some crimes to give justice to the innocent as well as to the victim. It encompasses various specialized areas and cutting edge technologies. Uh, according to the timeline, the forensic science has evolved a lot in the modern times, that is the late 20th century till the present time. So it has continued to evolve with advancements in the technology, which also includes digital forensic, fingerprint, digital evidences, analysis and the use of forensic database to solve all the cases. Uh, new techniques in forensic pathology, entomology, anthropology, odontology has also been developed. Uh, so in modern forensic science, we can say that it's a kind of multidisciplinary field which uses all the scientific techniques, the principles for investigation, identification and recognition of the physical evidences to solve the uh, crimes and for giving the criminal justice system. It also provides evidence for legal proceedings. Uh, it also has significance in inception and today it encompasses various specialized area and cutting edge technologies. Discuss about some of the famous scientists. Uh, the first scientist who can be also said as the father of forensic science is Sir Edmund Lockhart. Uh, he basically formulated the Lockhart's exchange principle which is the basic principle which we use in forensic science. And secondly comes Sir Francis Galton who developed the classification system for fingerprints. Then comes Sir Francis Camps. He pioneered the use of forensic pathology in criminal investigation. Sir Alec Jaffrey is also there who is the father of DNA fingerprinting. So these are some of the famous scientists. Other than this scientist we also have uh, Sir Calvin Hooker Goddard, who is the father of ballistics. Even we also have uh, Sir Albert Osborn, who is the father of question document. We have the father of criminalistics, who is Hans Cross. Then we also have the father of criminal identification, Sir Alfonso Bertillon. Uh, like this way, we, many, uh, we have many forensic uh, experts, scientists who has created a great impact, a great light on our forensic conclusion, history. I would say that forensic science draws uh, conclusions based on evidence analysis contributing to legal investigations. It also includes identifying suspects through DNA analysis, determining cause of the death, analyzing the fingerprint and also evaluating ballistics. Uh, to link firearms to crimes and definitely it's crucial for forensic scientists to follow rigorous protocols to ensure accuracy in their findings as their conclusions often play a pivotal role in legal proceedings. By respecting our history, uh, we must also focus on our present and towards developing our future. Further reference, please to connect with our social media platforms that is Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter and do join the channels in WhatsApp of AFRS and do follow the YouTube channel also. Thank you.